Hello there, folks. A data pioneer from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And uh, today I was just sitting around. I didn't have much to do. And uh, I thought, why not, uh, why not install Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon? Take a look at it. So that's what I'm going to do. You want to join me? Come on ahead. I'm going to install and review Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm in uh, VirtualBox right now. Got my VirtualBox server set up, and I'm going to go ahead and click Machine and New, and set up the Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. And uh, so I'll give it a name, Linux Mint 19.2, and it's based on Ubuntu 64-bit. So we'll select uh, Ubuntu 64-bit here. I want to give it a fair amount of memory. Uh, I've got 16 gigs here on the main PC, but I'll give it uh, 4 gigs, 4096 megabytes. Um, let's go ahead and create that uh, VDI. I'm going to give it uh, probably 32 gigabytes of uh, disk space, uh, virtual box disk image space. And I'm going to set it up dynamically so it'll just grow to the 32 bit. And uh, a gigabyte, rather. And um, so let's go ahead and click that. And now uh, under System, um, I want to untick Floppy and move the hard drive up um, to the boot order. I'm going to hit Display here. And I'm going to give it the full 128 uh, megabytes of video memory. And I'm going to select VBox uh, VGA and uh, enable 3D acceleration. All right, under um, storage, I'm going to select um, the usual, which is my ISO for um, Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Load that in the virtual optical disk. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add, I forgot to add Cinnamon to the name here. I'm going to go ahead and add that on because uh, I want it to be called Cinnamon so I can make sure I have that distinction. For the network, I'm going to go ahead and change it uh, for the adapter away from NAT to um, the bridged adapter so that it'll be on the same network. For USB, I'll give it 3.0, and let's click OK. All right, so I'm ready to go, and let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So as usual, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click View here and go to Full Screen. Full Screen Mode, I like Full Screen Mode. I'm going to let it go ahead and boot up automatically here. All right, so it's in the boot up process right now. And uh, we'll just wait for it to uh, boot up in the virtual machine. All right, here it comes, Linux Mint 19.2. And hopefully it'll come up to full screen, so I won't have to uh, install the, uh, uh, you know, the, the usual. All right, so it is full screen, 1920 by 1080. I don't have to do anything with installing um, guest editions for VirtualBox. Let me go ahead and um, open the installer for uh, Linux Mint. Let's just go ahead and get this thing installed on the VDI. And here it is. Here's the installer. And so it's on English. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. And we're on the English keyboard, US. That's good. And we'll go ahead and click Continue here. I am going to go ahead and install, uh, excuse me, third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi. Even though this is hard uh, wired here, uh, connected Ethernet to the router, uh, I do want to take advantage of the third-party graphics. And so I'm going to click Continue and let it go on. All right, and I am going to tell it to go ahead and erase the disk and install Linux Mint. So I'm going to do install now. 
and we're getting the writing the changes warning here. So if when I click continue, it will write the changes and let it do it automatically. Click continue. And it says that we are in New York. That's good. It found us. And let's click continue here. And we'll go ahead and give it my name, which is uh, Dan Calloway. And for computer name, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, Linux uh, Mint. Let's see, Cinnamon VM. And uh, maybe I should stick 19.2 in there. Okay, I'll put 19.2 in. So that's Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Uh, for username, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell it uh, that it's Data Pioneer. Go ahead and put in my, my password here and confirm it. And um, let's go ahead and continue. I never do the login automatically. All right, so it's copying files right now. And um, this is going to take a while, but I'm going to let it go on for a little bit, and then I'll stop the video and then pick it back up when it's finished. Just want you to see um, some of the process of how it installs using this installer. I'm not quite sure which installer this is. It might be the Calamaris installer. I'm not really sure. I know it's not the Anaconda installer, uh, but it doesn't matter. Um, it is the installer nonetheless. And so it's copying files right now. I'm going to let it go ahead and finish the copying files process and then get into the actual install. And then I will, as I said, I don't want to have you sit through this whole thing. I'll just go ahead and um, uh, pause the video and then come back when it's uh, completed or near completion. I'm looking forward to uh, Linux Mint 19.2 uh, Cinnamon. It's been a while since I've visited uh, Linux Mint. I believe this is one of the most popular distros of the Mint family, uh, the Cinnamon 19.2. Cinnamon desktop is uh, probably the most popular. I know for sure out on distro watch it is. Uh, and for the Linux Mint community, I'm pretty sure it is as well. Um, it is based on Ubuntu, as I said, and uh, it's a nice distro. I, I really like it. It's really clean. I like the desktops uh, that, that you're presented with. Um, and I enjoy using Linux Mint. It uses the Aptitude Package Manager, as you're familiar with, with Ubuntu. Um, and so it would be no surprise to anyone uh, using uh, Linux Mint 19.2. And so once, uh, once this thing gets installed, we'll go ahead and boot up and uh, we'll take a look at it, see what we got, see what all, all the features are that we have. And, um, and so you can join me, and um, we'll just take a look at it together. Got nothing to do today. I thought, hey, I don't have anything to do. Um, got time to kill, so you know, let's install Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so it's still copying the files, and um, it's uh, running you through some of the features uh, through the slideshow that it has. It's common that... Uh, Linux Mint does that, uh, so you can watch movies and videos. It's a pretty sharp video rendering here, uh, as I understand, with Linux Mint. And uh, the codecs are fully supported, and VLC Media Player, I believe, is the default media player. All right, so it's still copying files. And copying the files takes a while because um, it has to copy all these files. It has to extract them all out from the ISO and uh, lay them down on the uh, VDI in virtual box. And uh, so it takes a while. Once it gets that laid down, then it will start the install process. So it's almost finished copying the files, it says. And so we'll let it get through this phase. Once it starts the installation, um, 
gets into it just a little bit, I'll go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so it's uh, begun the installation of the system here. And as I said, this is going to take a while. It's not going to take too long, but it is going to take a while. Uh, and when it ramps up, I'll go ahead and pause the video. And then we'll come back when it's almost completed or completed. Okay, so it's uh, configuring apt and starting to do its thing. I'll go ahead and pause the video. And when it's uh, just about done or done, I'll come back. Okay, so it's just about done now. It's uh, running the dpackage, uh, completing the removal of packages that it doesn't need any longer. And um, it's installing the system and doing some other things. So we're just about finished with this install process. So I thought I'd come back and uh, join you here and let you see what's going on. Uh, it has been about five minutes or six minutes or so. It's, so it's not been too long. Uh, it is one of the faster installs, um, I believe, for Linux distributions. And uh, we shouldn't uh, have much longer to wait here. And it is doing a bunch of things with the AMD 64 um, processor. I have a 64-bit processor, i3, 7100, 7th generation i3 duo, uh, 3.9 gigahertz processor, so it's pretty fast. And I, I'm really uh, liking VirtualBox 6.0. Uh, I think it does a great job. Okay, so it's completed says that it has finished, and so I'm going to go ahead and hit that Restart Now button and let it restart. All right, so Linux Mint 19.2 uh, is restarting. I've already removed the uh, media, so I'm going to hit Enter, and um, should be coming back up now. We should be coming to a login screen here pretty soon. And I'll go ahead and enter the password for Data Pioneer. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and enter the password and log in. Okay, so we've. Uh, Rebooted the system, and um, I'm looking at the desktop now. We're in uh, Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Looking pretty good. I uh, like the desktop, really crisp, sharp uh, wallpaper that they have here. I'm really liking this. Um, it's been a while, like I said, since I've looked at Linux Mint. So let's take a look and see what we have here. We've got off the right hand side here. Got the printers icon, we've got a network icon, we've got a volume icon, and we've got calendar. It is the 26th of August, and uh, I can do my date and time settings if I want to here. It says it's 1448, which is correct, but that's 24 hour time. I'm going to leave it 
at that now. Uh, for now, I'm not going to change it to 248. Like I said, this is just a VM. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, we've got the computer icon out on the desktop. So if I double click on it, it's going to bring up the interface for the VBox CD ROM, the VBox hard disk, and the file system. If you click on that, it's going to bring up the file system itself, uh, which is the, you know, the typical directory structure for Linux. Nothing uh, surprising here. Okay, um, and then we have the home folder for Data Pioneer Home. And that is my home directory. So we've got the desktop, the documents, downloads, music, pictures, public templates, and videos. Okay. Um, and so let's take a look and see what this file manager is. It looks like it's Nemo 4.2.2. I like Nemo. It's, it's really nice. It's kind of like Kaja. Um, all right, let's click Close. And let's go over and take a look at the uh, taskbar at the bottom here. Uh, the bottom panel and see what we have. So we have the Linux Mint menu, so let's bring that up. We've got a lot of stuff here. Um, all applications, we've got accessories, archive manager, calculator, character map, disks, document viewer, uh, files, fonts, image viewer, passage, or passwords and keys, redshift, screenshot, text editor, uh, Tomboy Notes, USB Image Writer, so we've got an Image Writer here. USB Stick Formatter and Virtual Keyboard, really nice. Under Graphics, we have the GNU uh, Image Manipulation Program, Pix and Simple Scan. Let me bring up uh, GIMP and take a look at what we have. Uh, looks like we have 2.8. Now, the latest version is 2.10, uh, so... Not sure why it doesn't have the latest version of GIMP, because 2.10 is the latest, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, let's get back in here. For Internet, we have the Firefox web browser. Let's go ahead and bring that up and see what version of Firefox we have running. And um, once that loads, it's got 4 gigs of RAM. It's still pretty fast. Okay, so let's go over to the uh, the pancake and go down to the help and about Firefox, see what we have here. We've got Firefox Quantum 68.0.2 64-bit. Yeah, that's the latest version as far as I know of Firefox Quantum. So we're up to date there on the, on the web browser. Uh, looking pretty nice. I'm going to go out and uh, we got Proton Mail here. And I'm going to select that and th th this is my secure email based in Switzerland. I'm going to go ahead and log in to show you the interface and then I'll move on. All right, let's go ahead and log in. You can set up your own free account at Proton Mail. Um, very secure email, end-to-end -end encrypted. Um, Nobody's going to get in and look at it. Not even the people that work at Proton Mail can get into your mail. All right, so it's coming up now. And here in a few seconds, we'll get that interface up. All right, here we go. All right, so this is uh, Proton Mail. I'm going to go ahead and close it down, log out. And let's go ahead and close the browser and close the tabs here. Let's get back into the menu and go back up to Internet. And we've got HexChat, which is an Internet Relay Chat. We have Thunderbird Mail for those people who want a client for their mail. As you just saw, I, you, I use a web-based mail for Proton Mail, so I have no need for the Thunderbird. I can remove it if I want. And then Transmission, which is a BitTorrent client for um, Linux Mint. So if you want to do a straight download, you can do a BitTorrent download. It can be faster that way. Under Office, it looks like we have the full LibreOffice suite. I'm not a big fan of LibreOffice, so I would probably replace this with WPS or um, OpenOffice, something like that, uh, or uh, you know some, some other form of Office suite. Um, Okay, sound and video, we have got the media player, we've got Rhythm Box, we have VLC media player, which is nice. Universal access, we have the own board, the administration, we've got the backup tool, which is good. 
the disk user or usage analyzer, the driver manager, and I'll take a look at that later on uh, down the road for that driver that I install. We've got the login window, logs, power statistics, uh, printers. We've got a printer interface here. Software manager. Let's click on that and see what we have. And the software manager, when it comes up, um, uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, here we go. Uh, these are the editor's picks. We've got Audacity, Caliber, Spotify. We've got a full host of, of things here. Uh, here are the categories that you can select from. Accessories, Internet, Sound and Video, Fonts, Office, just to name a few. Um, even programming here. So from here, you can install just about anything to your heart's desire here. Uh, a lot of these things are not installed already, and you can go ahead and install those. Linux Mint gives you a full plethora here of, of things to install. Software Manager is the way to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. And let's get back into uh, Administration, uh, Software Sources, Synaptic Package Manager. So we do have the Synaptic Package Manager already installed out of the box. Some Monitor, uh, System Reports. We have the Terminal. So let's take a look at Terminal. So this is the terminal. I would uh, obviously go ahead and uh, uh, change this for my own liking. I'm going to see if HTOP is installed. It is not, so we'd have to install it. Let's go ahead and do that. Sudo, whoops, sudo apt get install HTOP. And let me put in the password. And let's go ahead and install it. And so while H HTOP, all right, it's finished. Okay, so HTOP is finished. Let's clear the screen and let's run HTOP. All right, so here it is. And it looks like we're running 607 megs out of 4 gigs. That's not too bad. We have 99 tasks running, 176 threads, one task running here. Load averages are really good, 0 0.83, 0 0.65, and 0.33. Uptime of 54 minutes, not bad. Um, this is looking pretty good for, uh, for stable Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Uh, not very uh, memory intensive at, at all. We're not using any swap, so can't ask for any better than that. Let's go ahead and close this. Close the terminal. Let's get back in and uh, see what else we have under administration. Uh, I think we were at Synaptic Package Manager, System Reports, Terminal, Time Shift, Update Manager, and Users and Groups. I'll do the full update later of the system. Under Preferences, we can do Date and Time, Desklets, Desktop, Disks, Display. Let's take a look at the display. I am running uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, normal resolution, so don't have to worry about installing the VirtualBox Linux editions or guest editions. All right, so I'll go ahead and close that. Uh, let's get back into preferences, and uh, so we are now at uh, effects and extensions, firewall configuration, font selection, general graphics, hot corners, uh, input method. Keyboard, languages, mouse, and we got a bunch of stuff here. Mouse and touchpad, network, network connections, notifications, online accounts, panel. So you can uh, change your panels here. Um, power management, management, preferred applications, privacy, and the list goes on and on and on. Themes, I'll probably get in here and change the theme later on. I kind of like this dark theme, though. Uh, welcome screen, I don't care for that that much, windows and workspaces. And so I will need to set up workspaces later. I'm not going to do it now. Um, and so let's go ahead and get out of that. And so let's go back into preferences. And uh, let's go down, uh, see where we left off. Um, let's see. I think we were just about finished. Yeah, places, we've got those identified. Recent files, you can pull those up as well. And then the remaining part here is uh, you've got your quit, you've got your log out, you've got your lock screen, your terminal here for favorites, you've got uh, 
Um, let's see, system settings here. Uh, you have the software manager and you have the web browser. So our system settings, I think we've already looked at that. No, we didn't. Um, appearance is where I would go here. For backgrounds, let's, let's take a look at the uh, backgrounds that you have. Here are the uh, Linux Mint backgrounds that we have available to us. This is the one we're on right now, it looks like. Um, there's one called Terra, and I mean, you've got a bunch of uh, backgrounds that you can select from here. It's so one thing I like about Linux Mint is you don't have to uh, want for any backgrounds. Under Tessa here, you got a bunch of uh, backgrounds available to us here. Really nice looking ones too, as a matter of fact. Uh, Tina, you got some of those as well. And uh, let's see here, yeah, divide, uh, yellow line. Yeah, these are really nice backgrounds. And then, of course, you can select your pictures if you have any pictures in your um, pictures directory that you want to use. Okay, so uh, I believe we should be able to right-click and select Open in Terminal. And we can. And I believe we can bring that up to the top. And um, well, actually, it should have opened it all the way, but it didn't. That's okay. Uh, let's do a uname uh, dash R and see what we have here. We're running kernel 4.15.0-54 generic. Uh, if we do a uname, attack A, we, we're running Linux Mint 19 um, generic, and it is an x86-64 GNU Linux. Okay, uh, Let's do a DF, and this is the current setup here, um, how it partitioned the system for us. We did it automatically, remember? We just told it to go ahead and do it automatically. And let's uh, let's go ahead now and do a power off. I don't think power off is an option. Um, pseudo power off. I don't think it's going to power down for us. We can try it. No, it did. Okay. So it's okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the installation and. Uh, setup and product review of Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Uh, enjoyed uh, being with you today and uh, giving you a tour of uh, Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, enjoy this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, um, Linux Users Tech Channel, and uh, hit that bell so that you get notified every time uh, I upload a video. And so um, this has been Data Pioneer, and hope you have a best remaining part of your day, and take care. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.